Bro, please come to the Warriors. Somebody say, please come to the Warriors. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. A reminder that both count training and ferry service. So yeah, Giannis Antetokounmpo is pretty intrigued by the idea of joining the Golden State Warriors, which is pretty interesting. Obviously, we all know both of these teams, Milwaukee and Golden State, they were the most disappointing teams in the playoffs. With the Warriors, they were second round exits after just coming off an NBA championship. And with Milwaukee, they were even more disappointing considering the fact that they were, of course, the number one seed in the East and that they lost to the eighth seed Heat in just five games. So yeah, this rumor right here coming out isn't that surprising. And when you even look at the details closely, when you connect every single data, available you could see that this was bound to happen at some point i'm going to go all over the pieces that align together so without further ado let's just get straight to it first of all something that actually not too many people know is that Giannis and steph curry they actually have the same agency it's called octagon and these two guys they've been you know doing business together that's why you always seen these two guys complimenting each other showing mutual respect i mean Giannis even went as far as to say that curry is the best player in the nba that's how much respect these two guys have for each other so seeing you know that connection you know with the business that's very key especially in a trade like this we all know the power of nba stars nowadays in the nba so when you have that same agency it could make things happen faster it's way easier honestly you know just make that call and just say you know i'm out of milwaukee we could make something happen that's why i wouldn't be surprised if this trade happens sometime in the future obviously it will have to take milwaukee to be really bad next season to be honest even request a trade because we all know he's max thin super max actually in Milwaukee for like 2026 so yeah it all really depends on Milwaukee's you know playoff success in the coming years but you know with what happened with the Miami Heat I would not be surprised if something similar happens also something else about this Steph Curry connection these two guys have always wanted to play together you guys have seen in the all-star game you know back a few years ago I think it was 2019 when Giannis said that he wanted to pick Steph with the first pick in the all-star draft which he did and that's you know the all-star game that we saw that infamous alley-oop you know for Curry to Giannis we could kind of tell how these two guys will click together instantly I mean we're talking about the best shooter in NBA history and one of the best players in Giannis a guy that has been in the MVP conversation for the past three years obviously we all know that Giannis cannot really shoot like that but the words are literally built perfectly for a guy like Giannis I mean if Giannis drives to the basket he draws all this attention leaving guys like Curry wide open and guys like that and also do not even get me started on the defensive end I mean Giannis could literally anchor the defense we all know Draymond Green is questionable to come back to the Warriors maybe they figure something out but still even with Draymond the Warriors still have issues defensively you cannot just have one guy doing everything on the defensive end when you have someone like Giannis anchoring the paint with Draymond that would be absolutely like insane like nobody will want to go in that paint Giannis could literally block the shit out of you and also Giannis is a guy that pushes the ball in transition the Warriors are a great transition team so Giannis, you know, blocking a shot, they can get it out to Curry, then an alley is happening all the time. I mean, it's just meant to happen at some point. However, there's also something that could actually make Giannis's game extremely scarier than what it is already. It's that he could actually develop a great foundation with his jump shot. The Warriors have always been known for having great trainers, especially, you know, helping guys like Curry and Thompson develop their shots and everything. So it would literally be perfect for Giannis if he wants to take that step, you know, in his career. Also, his free throws will finally improve because damn, waiting 10 seconds for a guy to shoot a free throw must be annoying as hell but i'm pretty sure some trainers just a basic foundation will help him solve that it's just mechanics at this point he just has a huge hitch on his shot you know he just makes that big pause which obviously gets all that momentum away so yeah i just think the words are just meant for Giannis, for him you know to become the best version of himself and i just hope you know this could happen honestly they're trying to build that last window for curry to win a championship obviously Giannis will be an amazing piece it will definitely make life easier for curry i mean the guy has been advocating for Giannis forever we all know back in 2020 curry went into the post game and talked to Giannis. And, you know, he's literally told the guy to let's do it when it comes to teaming up. So you already see that chemistry building off the court. Obviously, the agency stuff that I mentioned is a big piece, you know, to these two guys having a close bond. Now, when it comes to actually making the move, it will obviously have to be a trade because, like I said, Giannis will be there in Milwaukee committed until 2026. He does have a player option in 2025, but we all know Giannis is taking that money. He did say that he wants his career to not be too long. So that's not even a question when it comes to Giannis picking up his player option but a trade that will actually make sense for the Warriors will involve guys like Klay Thompson, Jordan Poole, Moses Moody, maybe Kuminga and some picks. I think that will be a win-win for both teams. Obviously Jordan Poole and Kuminga are looking for new places to bounce back from disappointments 
And obviously, Klay Thompson wants a big bag. He wants a place where he could prove himself. And the Bucks without Giannis, that could be perfect for him. But who knows, man? At the end of the day, Giannis is still committed to the Milwaukee Bucks. As of right now, the Warriors are looking to improve the roster. So at the same time, anything can happen. We just have to wait and see if Giannis requests a trade. But what do you guys think about all this? You know, Giannis going live on Instagram and actually liking the idea of teaming up with Steph one day. It will definitely be one of the best duels in NBA history. But like I said, it really depends on Giannis's playoff history with the Bucks in the upcoming years. We have to wait and see what happens. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. So make sure to leave them down there. Hopefully everyone has a great day. Peace.